A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye? You hypocrite! Remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people that pick figs from thorn bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of a store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person out of a store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart the mouth speaks. The Gospel of the Lord In today's Gospel, we see Jesus, the wisdom teacher, helping his disciples to find the path in order to live a meaningful and authentic life. He starts with a rhetorical question. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? Here is the first lesson on the importance of whom to follow in the path of life. How careful and discerning we must be in choosing who should lead and guide us, lest we stumble into the pit alongside our blind guide. But there is a second, more important lesson here. We have no business presenting ourselves as leaders capable of guiding others and even judging them, unless we ourselves can see clearly and understand the matter at hand. And to emphasize this, Jesus uses hyperbole or exaggerated language. He says, why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam on your own? This saying is clearly a call to self-examination, to be careful in focusing on the faults of others, because more often than not, this is but a hidden way of taking the focus off our own faults and limitations. Thirdly, the lesson that Jesus teaches us in this Sunday prior to the season of Lent is the importance of integrity, being authentic, that is, avoiding hypocrisy, double face or double speak. The Greek word hypocrite is commonly used in theater arts. It refers to persons who play a part or act a role. In the context of this gospel teaching, hypocrisy refers to the discrepancy present in the person when his words do not correspond to his actions, when her inner motives are different from what she says and does. In other words, there is no transparency in the person's attitudes. To examine this discrepancy, to see where there is a gap between our words and actions is therefore the challenge of this Sunday's Gospel. Jesus says to his disciples and to us now, Remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. Let us work on ourselves first. Gandhi, who was not a Christian but who knew the Gospel well, apply this to himself. He said, 
If you want to change the world, start with yourself. And this can be done only by looking deeply into our hearts. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. Jesus points out the reality, a good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person out of the store of evil produces evil. What is the condition of our hearts? Perhaps we can test this out when we listen to the words that usually come out of our mouths or the thoughts that circulate in our minds especially when we are tried and tested. Are we easily given to complaining, to grumbling, and gossip? Do we live in constant competition, relentlessly trying to prove that we are always right? Jesus our Lord shows us how to live authentically, with integrity, and with compassion. Let us hold on to Him and allow Him to transform us. And so we pray. Lord Jesus, thank You for being our sure guide in the path of life. And thank You most of all for assuring us of Your help, for the guidance of Your Spirit as we seek to transform our old selves into Your likeness. Renew our hearts. Make everything we say and do correspond to the gospel values. And grant us also the courage to speak of you to others as the true way to a meaningful and authentic life. For you are indeed our way, truth, and life. Amen.